Bright May sunshine greets Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh as they drive through Trafalgar Square towards the City of London. to Temple Bar, the city's boundary moves the Sovereign's escort of household cavalry, which will accompany the Queen to the Mansion House, where she is to attend a banquet in her honour. True to ancient tradition, the Lord Mayor of London offers the Sovereign the Pearl Sword of the City in token of loyalty and submission to the Crown. The Queen touches it as a sign of her confidence in the city's good government. Presented to the city by the first Queen Elizabeth, the sword has a scabbard decorated with 2,000 pearls. The Queen's procession moves on to the acclaim of thousands thronging the entire route. Mansion House, the London home of the Lord Mayor Sir Noel Bowater, is being used for the city's welcome home banquet because Guildhall is still undergoing bomb damage repairs. By the main door, Lady Bowater presents a bouquet to Her Majesty. Within Mansion House, 400 distinguished guests are gathered in the Egyptian Hall. They include members of the royal family, government leaders and representatives of the countries visited by the Queen during her Commonwealth tour. At this first public engagement since her return, Her Majesty rises to thank the city for its welcome home. My Lord Mayor, I thank you most warmly for the words in which you have made us welcome and for proposing this toast. And I thank your guests for the manner in which they have received it. It is true that my husband and I are here at your invitation to mark the end of a Commonwealth journey which has occupied us day and night for the last six months. It is also true that we are celebrating our return to this city of London, whose citizens only a few days ago gave us a welcome which warmed our hearts and which neither of us will ever forget. I am glad, too, to be able to thank once again our hosts all around the globe.